Hello, South Arkansas. I'm Doc Bryce. Let's talk news. The prescribed burn on 40 acres is still going on in Dallas County till early morning, January 13th, 2023, around 11 West Carthage. The following are presumed innocent till proven guilty in a court of law. Kevin Deshaun Marks, 22, of Camden, was arrested January 8th for theft of property and refusal to submit to arrest. Camden Police Department Officer Edens was dispatched to Mary Street in reference to a domestic disturbance in progress. Officer Purifoy was already on scene talking with the victim who accused Kevin Marks of taking and refusing to return the victim's car keys and phone after breaking up with Marks. Officer Purifoy asked Marks if he had the keys to the automobile and phone, and Marks said yes. Marks still refused to give the keys and phone back, and Officer Purifoy informed Marks that he can be arrested for theft of property. After many failed attempts by officers to retrieve the property from Marks without being arrested, Marks continued refusal to comply. After many attempts by officers to retrieve the property from Marks without being arrested, Marks continued refusing to comply. As Officer Purifoy made his way towards Marks, informing him that he is now under arrest, that's when Marks began to back away. Marks resisted getting his hands behind his back, struggling to get back into the residence. Mark knocked Officer Purifoy's glasses loose and continued to pull his arm forward and resist arrest. Marks kept antagonizing officers, calling them weak as he resisted. That's when Officer Edens deployed a little burst of pepper spray to the right side of Mark's face, and Marks finally cooperated with officers to be taken into custody. Officer Edens moved Marks over to the police cruiser and searched him before placing him in the car. Keys to the car were found on him. Officer Purifoy returned those keys to the victim. Marks was decontaminated, booked, charged with theft of property, and refusal to submit to arrest. Kevin Marks was released on a promissory to appear in court February 1st of 2023. I'm Doc Bryce. Go make some news today. Price Robertson is next. From the Radio Works Newsroom, I'm Price Robertson with this news bulletin. 63-year-old Dale Steichleather of Flippin pleaded guilty on Tuesday the two counts of capital murder. Online court records show Steichleather admitted to shooting and killing Jeffrey and Kimberly Watson in May 2022. Investigators say he killed the couple because they wouldn't sell their pickup. Detectives say they tracked down Steichleather in a Houston, Texas suburb five days later. Lesser charges filed against Steichleather were dropped by the state. He will serve the rest of his life behind bars. Little Rock police are investigating an incident that left one person dead around 9 p.m. last night. According to police, authorities arrived at Breckenridge Drive in response to a burglary in progress. Once there, authorities were made aware of a person that was unresponsive in the area's parking lot. Authorities later pronounced the victim dead at the scene. During the investigation, police identified Chelsea McKensley as a suspect in the incident. Following questioning, McKensley was arrested by Little Rock police and charged with first-degree murder in connection to the alleged burglary. She was also charged with abuse of a corpse and tampering with physical evidence. Police have not released the name of the victim at this time. Coming next, the rest of today's news. Stay with us. Last week, the Arkansas Center for Health Improvement announced they are urging the Arkansas General Assembly and Governor Sanders to get rid of the asset limit for food stamps. According to ACHI, in 2021, more than 1 in 10 of Arkansans took part in SNAP, short for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. It was found that for some Arkansans, living with food insecurity could obtain food through SNAP. Although SNAP is a federal program, states are allowed to alter the eligibility requirements. Arkansas's income limit is the lowest level allowed for SNAP eligibility. The state has an asset limit of $2,750 per household or for households with at least one elderly or disabled person. The amount is $4,250. Neighboring states, such as Oklahoma and Louisiana, have made the decision to eliminate the asset limit. In the meantime, thanks for being with us and stay with RadioWorks for the latest news and more coming up right now. 